What's up guys, Nick here today. It'll be attempt four at trying to cast that solid aluminum ball. Now, as you can probably hear, the furnace is screaming in the background. It's getting red hot. So in the next 10, 15 minutes, I should be ready to start pouring the aluminum to see if we can get a casting. Now, as I mentioned in my last video, something I did different this time, I let it sit for about a week and a half and I put it in the oven almost every day at about 450 degrees. So there should be no water left in the plaster, so we should get a clean casting. So you all know the drill. We have to get everything set up, make sure that everything is good. The plaster has been sitting for quite a long time, so I'm not really worried about any evaporation but here we go setting up the burner making sure everything's good loading up the crucible with the aluminum firing up the furnace getting it really nice and hot i gotta put the crucible in and wait for everything to heat up make sure the lid is on so i can conceal as much heat as possible it only took about 15 20 minutes to actually melt everything in the crucible and then we were ready to pour so you all know how it goes with the pouring i turn off the furnace make sure everything's set to go i obviously have to take off the lid so i can actually get to the crucible it's extremely hot i probably could have used a little less propane but it's all right and as soon as i poured it in there was a tiny bit of styrofoam that was left in there most of it was burned out by putting it in the oven but it obviously ignited because i mean it's styrofoam it just burns and for the, a tiny amount that was in there there was actually a lot of fire and flame i was very surprised as i was pouring because I saw there was a very tiny amount of styrofoam left in there. I melted a little too much aluminum, so that's why I have that brand new muffin tin set in there. I've only used it about three times, and it's a lot bigger, so I can pour a lot more muffins. But it's the same size and everything as the little ingots I used. I guess we'll have to see about that one. There's a lot of particles in there. I wonder, I don't know, there's just a lot of black soot. I wonder if that's in the plaster. Hopefully it doesn't affect the casting. We'll give it some time to cool off. I guess we'll see what happens. It filled up just fine. At first I missed, as you can see, but after that, I mean, I was just pouring it right into that hole and that could be from the styrofoam. That could be something in the plaster. Probably the styrofoam. I mean, there was a little bit left, but still there was some styrofoam in there. So I can take care of these here nuggets. All right. Let's bust it open and see what we got. I don't know how on earth this is going to work, but. Oh yeah, that was way easier. And that actually does look pretty good. Looks a lot better this time. All right, so it's the day after I busted it open and today I'm going to hacksaw off the little risers that are there and we can actually get a real good look at it. So without further ado, let's get into it. So hopefully this shouldn't be too bad. I have a fresh hacksaw blade to cut through the aluminum and it's only cast aluminum, so it's not really that hard. But this is the new casting. As you can see, it definitely looks a lot more like a ball. There is some rough edges on it, but you can definitely see the improvement from that one to the new one right there. Definitely a lot better. Uh, the plaster didn't have any water in it, so there wasn't any of these steam explosions. A much more consistent pour. So definitely we have made some great improvements. I am going to clamp it down. This is a much better device for holding it than my hand. All right, so I came in the shade, so I'm not gonna die a heat stroke, but this is it. I mean, obviously I have a lot more work to do to clean it up. And I think I'm gonna make a second part to this. I'm polishing up the ball, seeing what I can do with it. Because I don't know, I've wanted to cast a solid ball like this for a long time, so I might as well make it look nice. But that's it for me, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. I will see you guys next time. Make sure to like, subscribe if you are new. Peace out.